Many people ask me, why should I premix or grain my gold with a master alloy? Well, there are many good reasons. The first of them is that you can stabilize the title of your gold, which is an extra important parameter. Second, when you reuse some metal, you can clean the scraps. Third, you homogenize the metal in case of heavyweight casts. And for silver, there's the possibility to clean up from oxygen your metal. After you have carefully weighed the components, gold and master alloy, try to put master alloy first and then gold, to cover the alloy with gold in the heating phase. The way to put the alloy in the melting machine depends on the kind of equipment you have. The pictures here refer to a machine where the metal loading can be done with hot crucible, speeding up the melting time. Choose the correct pre-mixing temperature, which can be found on technical charts. Every machine supplier has its own system for graining. The important point is that you do this step. After collecting the alloy, this has to be dried. Just don't heat it over 150 Celsius degrees. If you have very low quantity of material or don't have a graining unit, you can also consider pre-mixing manually. Preheat the ingot maker and treat it with black smoke or other detaching agent. Then. Heat up the metal, protecting it with small quantity of borax. Reducing flame must cover the metal at all times, even when the metal is being poured on the ingot maker. Take out borax excess using a quartz or graphite rod. After pouring, quench the ingot in water with a timing that depends on the alloy and the carotage. Pre-mixing of small quantities may also be done by pouring the metal in water, instead of putting it into an ingot maker. Either way you make it, pre-mixing is a very important step to stabilize your process. Keep following these advices in order to get the best alloy possible to start your casting. Keep on following our channel for further info and tips on how to improve your casting process. Mm -hmm.